Right, a question that people ask me relatively often is like, how much fitness do you lose over a certain time and how much workout slash stress do you need to actually keep your fitness? And so after hill climb season, so I was in top form, basically probably best form of my life in so, well, obviously in terms of like my short efforts, like two minutes to five minutes, I was probably like, I was absolutely flying. Um, and I was like, well, I don't really want to lose that because it's quite useful to be able to like be quite punchy. Like I was hitting good sprint numbers as well. And I was just turning into a bit of a punchy rider, which for the UK is pretty useful. I was doing many climbs over like five minutes, let alone 10 minutes. So being sort of a punchy rider is very, very useful. So anyway, I was like, well, I still want to ride my bike, but I don't want to train like full time because I do want to have a little time where I can, you know, just relax, rest and like go see my friends. Cause like the last, well, the whole of October, I was sort of like stressing about hill climb season. Um, wasn't um, having as much fun as I could potentially be having uh, because I was like, well, obviously I want to perform well at hill climb season. So after that, I was like, you know, I'll, I'll chill out. So anyway, I had um, strength and conditioning there, did a great 11 minute ride here, as you can see, absolutely monstrous. I'm not even sure where I went, to be honest. Um, oh yeah, I think I tried to get a KOM and realized I didn't have any fitness. Um, no, I just didn't know the KOM. Tuesday didn't ride, Wednesday went for an hour and then my derailleur, I think exploded or something. Um, Oh no, sorry, Wednesday was the track. Sorry, I'm getting really confused. I'll do this on Strava, it's way easier because I actually have all the um, numbers. So anyway, um, I was basically getting ready for track as well. So that was the thing. So I did a track here, felt all right. Didn't literally, didn't ride for the rest of the week. Did 20K in the soaking rain here. Um, and like, it was one of those rides where like, when you're doing structured training, you never do. But it was basically just like, I'm just gonna ride hard. And just, that was it. So you can see here, like 277 weighted average power, so I think it was 308 normalized or something. Um, so it was a decent ride, but nothing absolutely off the charts. Um, but yeah, it was it was a, it was a fun ride in the rain. But anyway, so that was like I guess a decent amount of maintenance. Next week, literally went for one ride on Tuesday. Derailleur ex exploded, and I just was so lazy. Didn't ride for the rest of the week. So I was like, surely after like two weeks, my fitness will like decrease a little bit. Um, so I, I was tempted to not take the same FTP, but I just did, and I was like, I'll just run with it. So you can see here, recovery ride, chill. Mountain bike, still I didn't have my road bike back. Then I did some efforts on the track again. So I literally hadn't been on my road bike for a very long time. Went back on for endurance. I obviously have no endurance. I literally none. I thought I'd have a little bit, but no, apparently not. Um, because I guess hill climb, I haven't done any much endurance then. Didn't do any endurance then. And li like after hill climbs, I just can't ride any endurance. Um, and then, yeah, did some sprints here. Hit a thousand watts every single time my sprints, which I was pretty happy out. And then this is a classic four hours. Felt pretty good on that one. Um, and anyway, so... And again, some more pointers. I did some, actually, this is not pointers. I actually have my heart rate monitor back and you can sort of see that I'm actually quite out of shape, um, especially on my endurance rides. Like my heart rate for like 200 watts, is like 140, 150. Well, normally I think mid-season it'd be like 130, maybe less. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously it's relative for everyone. Um, but you can see here I do uh, there are some of these efforts where they're basically just like, it's like so anaerobic efforts. It's basically just like get your legs a bit more tired. So if you do a two and a half hour ride, it's more like a three hour ride because your legs are a bit more tired if you don't have the time. But you can see here, my heart rate's going absolutely crazy up to like 190, 186, which is uh, quite high. Um, not mega, but you know, decent. Uh, so anyway, you can see definitely I have lost fitness. But then um, yesterday, so this week, I haven't really done much. Again, Tuesday, a day off. Today, I might have a day off. I'm not sure. It's quite late. And I've sort of been slightly busy with work and been useless at planning my life. Uh, but anyway, here we have some actual proper efforts, uh, which I guess I probably can compare um, to when I did these before, but I don't think I have the data on me necessarily. Uh, but anyway, you can see here, like, I actually did some decent efforts. Like, I was actually very, very happy with myself. Like, 300 watts, okay, you might be like, 300 watts, your FTP is like 317, but obviously these are under over, so obviously watts always a little bit less. And then 307 and 308, so I was pretty happy about that. I was like, I haven't really lost that much fitness, maybe FTP is like, five watts down but considering i literally haven't done any really ftp stuff i've just been doing short efforts i was actually pretty happy with that um you can see here my heart rate was getting up there and then i was going to do like another like 10 minute effort just to see what the numbers were but my legs just said yeah cheerio just couldn't really be bothered um but anyway so in conclusion to all my like, rambling about everything do you lose that much fitness like over two weeks definitely not do you lose that much fitness over doing short stuff no like if you haven't seen um ash from eat plants like He's literally only does like really short intervals and a bit of swift stuff, but a lot of short intervals, his FTP is going really well. So the short intervals definitely work. You're not gonna lose that much fitness over um, you know, a couple couple weeks for sure. Um for the rest of this, I'm not sure what I'm doing for the whole of November and everything, 
Uh, we on training peaks. I haven't really planned anything, I don't think, after track. So I've got um, a couple of days of track here. And then after this, literally haven't done anything. Also, this week's been great. Already three reds. Um, just haven't been bothered to do anything. My core cool stuff just didn't turn up. And then just, yeah, I've been lazy. Today might also be another red. Um, not great. I mean, I'm doing the, in the stuff I need to do to make me faster. But I'm not doing some of the stuff that will also help me move faster. Like core strength stuff I definitely should be doing that and then recovery rides I'm just like this week even though I don't actually have any uni I'm kind of reading week I just seem to be very unproductive this week and just not really I think it's because I have no routine I'm just like it's quite cold in the morning and I just don't really have time uh, but anyway I'll definitely do these fat rides on the weekend and then it'll just be taper next week um, so anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next video Boom.